Hey everyone, welcome to my video where today I'm going to be showing you how to get GoDaddy hosting in a free domain for just a dollar a month. Alright guys, we're going to jump right in and the first step we're going to do is visit my resources page on my website. And the link to that is createwpsite.com slash hosting. You can type that in or if you're on a desktop or a laptop, there should be a link inside this actual video at the bottom left or you can just click the link in the description below. All right, so we're here and we're just going to click on where it says GoDaddy coupon. And this is automatically going to apply a promo code. Now what I'm going to do is pick a domain and then I'm gonna go a little further and basically do a tutorial showing you guys how to set up GoDaddy and install WordPress. And you'll see exactly how the discount and everything works after we pick up our free domain. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is click the Get Started button, or you can click the Add to Cart button for the economy package. They're both the same thing. Okay, and this is where you're going to choose your free domain name. So whatever you want your website to be called, you can type it in here to see if it's available. And since this is just an example, I'm going to use this domain and okay it's available I'm going to hit select and continue and if you try a domain and it's not available don't worry just keep trying different ones and eventually you'll find something you like that's available okay so this is the payment page and we got the one-year hosting and free domain this is what your price should look like unless you chose to upgrade anything now we're just gonna click here click create account okay and now we're just going to fill out this form right here and some of the stuff is going to be uh, blurred out from this point just for privacy reasons And when you get down to the support pin part too, just put in four numbers that you recognize. And then you guys are also going to want to make note of um, all your account info too. Then we're going to click create account. Okay, and then I'm just going to continue filling out this form. Okay, and then once you guys have everything filled out, this all looks right. You can click uh, save okay and now I'm going to click PayPal you guys can use whatever method you want to use I'm just going to use PayPal for this I'm going to click on authorize on PayPal okay and then I'm just going to log into my PayPal account click login okay and then it'll take you back to this page right here and you can just click complete purchase okay now we're done with that so you guys should be on a page that looks something like this and now we're going to move on to the next steps which is actually starting to build the website all right guys so what we're going to do next is go back to godaddy.com so we're on the home page and then we're going to go up here and we're going to sign in if you're not signed in already all right then you're probably going to land on a page that looks something like this but we're going to click the godaddy logo up here and that'll take us back to the home page once again then we're going to click up here where it says your customer number or name then we're going to go over here to manage hosting all right and then we're going to come here and click these little buttons right there and click the setup button and then it says select a domain from your account and find your domain and then click next All right, and then wherever you're at, I'm just going to click North America because it says recommended. Wherever the recommended one is, just uh, select that one. Then when it gets to this part, you want to click yes, let's do it. Okay, and then we're going to make a WordPress username and password. This can be whatever you want. Just make something up for a username and then just make a password and um, make note of it somewhere because this is how you're going to log into your WordPress site.
All right, and then after you filled that out, you can click the next button. And when it gets to this part, if you want this, you can get it. I'm just going to click the skip button. All right, now everything's been uh, successfully installed. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click this no thanks button. And now we've successfully installed our website hosting and WordPress. All right, and the next thing we're going to do is log into our WordPress account. So we're going to come over here to cPanel admin and click this button. Okay, then we're going to come over here to your building tools and we're going to click WordPress. Now when this page comes up, just click no thanks. And then click OK. All right, and after that, you should now be logged into WordPress, and this is what our dashboard looks like. All right, and before we go any further, guys, I just want to mention something really quick that's important. Whenever you want to log into your actual WordPress account, so you're on your dashboard like we are now, this is what you want to go to. You want to go to whatever your domain is, and then you want to go to slash WP dash admin. And when you go there, it'll bring you to this page and this is where you put in your username and password then you log in and that'll bring you right back to your dashboard alright guys so that's gonna do it for this video if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you have a question or comment leave it down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can and I'll see you next time thanks for watching